Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Giselle. I review fragrances for women over 30. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And please consider subscribing if you like my content because I am a new creator and your subscription, your thumbs up means the world to me. That means you will help me grow my channel. And if I grow my channel, I'll be able to keep delivering good content for you. So thank you very much for being here and let's get started. So today I want to talk about perfumes that scream class. And I want to start my list with Alaya. There's no particular order here. Just I just wanted to grab one random and this is the first one. Uh, Alaya. Alaya is, what can I say? It's such a beautiful fragrance. It's a floral oriental fragrance. It's, it, it's elegant, it's refined, it's sophisticated. So this really, really screams class. Look at the bottle, just the bottle. It's, it's an amazing fragrance. It, it has many components here. You can, it's, it has a little bit of everything, honestly. It's powdery, it's musky, it has leather, it has peony, it has pink pepper, but the leather here is more like suede. I already talked about this perfume in another video. The suede is more feminine, it's not so masculine. It doesn't give that type of leather jacket strong leather smell or the car seat leather smell. It's rather like a suede um, jacket, like a beige suede leather jacket. But the funny thing is that when you wear this during the day, you won't even pinpoint the leather. However, if you spray this on during the night, if you use this during the night, the leather will pop up and will be a little bit stronger. But, uh, but still, it, it is a very, very sexy fragrance. Could be unisex, but I think it's, I find it really feminine. And it, it's like, it's a class act. I have like all of these perfumes I'm gonna talk about today are really, really classy, but this is one of those that scream class. Alaya, once again, one of my favorites. So the second one I have here, it's cheaper. Fatal. This belongs to the luxury line of Guerlain, Elixir Charnel. They only have three, I believe, in this collection. One is Gourmand Coquin. This is the second one, and there's another one I can't remember right now. But these belong to that collection. Look at that bottle. This is real metal, or it looks like it looks like metal at least. Um, this is a cheaper fragrance. Cheaper fragrances usually are those fragrances based on citrus as a top note, lab, cislabdanum, and then uh, oak moss derived notes. And let me tell you something. If you want to feel glamorous, if you want to feel like red carpet ready, always grab, for, grab uh, cheaper fragrances or fragrances that have aldehydes like the Chanel lines. Like Chanel DNA is very, very popular because of that aldehyde uh, it has in the composition. So you can recognize Chanel fragrances no matter, even if you are blindfolded. So that type of fragrances, the aldehydes you can find in Chanel or the cheaper fragrances are the fragrances that will give you that all Hollywood uh, glam and vibes. The thing is cheaper fragrances are not safe blinds. So I won't recommend you to buy this as a blind buy. It is for the confident woman. You have to like cheaper fragrances. It's not for everybody, but if you love them, as I do, I can live without this, uh, this, this fragrance in particular, but cheaper fragrances in total. I have another cheaper fragrance in, in, in this selection. So back to the topic. This is a rose woody patchouli bomb. Although this is uh, a fruity shipper, it's not a floral shipper because you have floral shippers, you have fruity shippers. This is a fruity shipper. It has pear, it has uh, white peach, it has, um, I believe it has bergamot. I'm not quite sure of that, but I believe it has as well. It also has vanilla. It's, it's a fruity shipper, but you will smell the fruit on the dry down. Not that when you first spray it on. It's a beautiful, beautiful. It's a super beautiful fragrance. This is a class act as well. It screams class wherever you go. It screams class wherever you see it from and wherever you smell it from. It has great sillage, super long lasting, at least on my skin. It's, it's like, it's dry. It's clean, it's crisp. 
I would recommend this for fall winter nights. You can wear this during the day as well, but I think it performs way better during the night. Again, Cheaper Fatal from Elixir Chanel Collection by the House of Guerlain. Guys, my next one is Dawson. It's by Diptyque. I think Diptyque is one of the most underrated houses in the market. I've been familiar with Diptyque forever. I love Diptyque. I don't understand why nobody or very few people talks about Diptyque. And this is Dawson or Dawson. I heard it in both ways, said it both ways, Dawson and Dawson. But Dawson is basically a white flower, a white floral, but it's not, gardenia is the most prominent flower here. I love white flowers. I love, love gardenia. However, I don't like tuberose. So this is the type of fragrance that you will smell the gardenia, you will smell, you will smell uh, jasmine. It's very strong on white florals, but you won't smell, at least I don't, smell the tuberose or at least you can smell it but it's not like right in your face it's not an aggressive tuberose it's not your creamy almost lactonic type of tuberose this is not like that it's 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 pretty soapy i would say it has orange flower it has rose it has iris pink pepper and it also it's it also has musk and i can tell you that but once it dries down you can feel the muskiness you can feel that type of like cozy feeling that the mask provides. But this is a stunning fragrance. It's super, super, super classy, super refined. I think I have quite a few white florals in this direction, but this is this is top, top notch. Actually, this is kind of similar to Truth of the or There by Madonna, but I think Truth of or There, I'm sorry. <laughs> Truth of There, I think it's more lactonic i think it's more it's creamier you can smell the churros right in your face that's why i'm not l loving it a lot it's similar it's not the same thing but hey this is like 10 notches above you can't even compare it can, you, it's you do a disservice to the brand if you compare this to truth or dare nothing against it i have truth or dare there but um this is this is on another level. The Sun by the House of Diptyque. So the next one, ooh, the next one is an oldie. It's a very, very classy fragrance. I don't know if you can see it. It's uh, 1000 by uh, Patu. This is all style. This is all Hollywood glamour. This is a fragrance I would wear if I want to feel like I am red carpet ready if i want to go to a special event if i go to a ball or if you go to new year's eve you know dinner it's an amazing amazing fragrance it's the it's oh, it's one of the most beautiful fragrances i i've ever smelled it has violet osmanthus patchouli i believe i'm pretty sure it has patchouli apricots jasmine yes and rose of course <laughs> But uh, it, this is one of the most, um, one of the classiest fragrances you can have in your collection. It's super classy. I don't know one person who doesn't like it. I always get compliments when I'm wearing this. It has a very, very strong projection. It is a stunning fragrance. It's a massive, massive compliment getter. Go get it because at least try it because it's it's an amazing fragrance. It has some hal aldehydes, I believe, although they are not listed. But I I feel it has a similar DNA to Chanel, the Chanel lines, all the Chanel lines. You know that type of like vintage retro type of thing. But it's 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 still worth it. You won't feel like an old lady wearing this. You will feel very refined, very classy, very sophisticated. Massive compliment getter if you care about compliments. 1000 by John Patu. So the next one is 24 for work by Hermes. This is named after the flagship store in Paris, which is in the 24 uh, Faubourg Street. And it's an amazing fragrance as well. This is the epitome of class. This is a class act. This fragrance is one of the most refined fragrances you can find in the market it's creamy balsamic it has iris it's a little bit woody musky it also has vanilla it's great sillage very very long lasting it's 
Um, I would say it's special for, you can wear it every day if you want, but it's more for formal events or formal occasions. But if you like the fragrance and you don't have that type of social life, who cares? You can wear it even to the grocery store. As I always say, I don't believe in, in labels, but uh, you have to be you and you have to feel amazing with yourself. So if this is a morning fragrance for you, go for it. But it's an amazing, amazing fragrance. It's a little bit dry. It's sweet, but not cloying sweet. It's not sickling sweet. It is very, very, it's, I think it's a very unique fragrance. I haven't smelled anything like this. I have smelled fragrances in similar direction. I have smelled fragrances with a similar DNA. Actually, this has a similar DNA to this one, to Jean Patou. They are not different, uh, excuse me, they are not similar at all. They are totally different, but still they have that type of DNA. This is also all Hollywood glam you will feel red carpet ready every time you wear this. You will get lots and lots of compliments. They have the other toilet version. They have different flankers. I believe it, they launch, Hermes launch different flankers and make them like limited editions, but the juice is exactly the same. I want to buy the other toilet and you will think, oh, she's crazy. She has the extra de parfum. Well, you know what? People tend to think that other toilets and other perfumes or straight perfumes are the exact same thing with different concentration. There is some truth to that, but it's not 100% truth. The formula is different. Usually other perfumes or extraded perfumes have more spices and they are warmer, while other toilets have more fruits and more flowers. And usually other perfumes and extraded perfumes, although they are stronger, they are more like a skin scent. And so when people approach you, if they hug you or they kiss you, they will feel it and it will feel strong. That doesn't happen with the other toilet. But on the other hand, other toilets tend to have a better sillage. They will leave that airy cloud wherever you go. So don't disregard other toilets thinking that they are like way too light or they don't have a good performance. And let me tell you, I have other toilets that perform even better than other perfumes. So that's a myth, it, it's not real. And yeah, I'm telling you this because other toilets tend to be less expensive. So if you want to try this fragrance, try the other toilet first. And if you like it, you can always, you know, go to the a stronger version to an other perfume or this one, the extracted perfume. But it's an amazing fragrance, super hyper sophisticated and also a massive compliment getter. And the last one, this is a fragrance I cannot live without. I've talked about this before. It's, let me show it to you. It's Eau de Soir by Sisley. Oof, what can I tell you about this? This is a class act. This is a class act. This is also an epitome of class. This was Lady Diana's favorite fragrance. It has an amazing sillage. This is how I discovered this. I was living in Germany and I could smell this fragrance all the time. This is a very popular fragrance in, in Europe. And I, I smell this almost everywhere. Like now is like Baccarat Rouge, that type of thing. And not everywhere, but in certain places you, you, you smell Baccarat Rouge. Well, same with this one. And I, I couldn't tell where that amazing fragrance came from. Oops, sorry. Until one day, there was a lady, a very, very elegant lady standing beside me. And I asked her, please, please, you have to tell me what you're wearing. And uh, she told me all this soir. And ever since, I always, always, always make sure to have this in my collection. I can't live without this. It's an amazing fragrance. It's a floral fragrance, but it's dry. It's not your creamy, sweet, sickly sweet type of fragrance. Needless to say, it's not tropical. It has uh, spices, but it's like a, f it's like a fresh type of spice. Oof. It's, it's very elegant. It's, it has some citrus here. It's musky, slightly powdery. I find it slightly, slightly soapy as well, like very clean and crisp. Um, I find this one similar, the DNA, the feeling similar to Coco Noir, that type of cold weather, dry, um, fresh, clean, crisp. I always say that Coco Noir to me smells like when you bring a blouse from the dry cleaners, right? Very clean and crisp and white. Well, that's 
the, that's the same vibe I get with this one. And let me tell you a story. Um, all the soir means in French, like water of the night or water of the evening, because soir means in, in French means um, night or evening. So this fragrance has in its composition, the main flower in, of this composition is called Syringa. It's a flower from Spain and it's a night flower. It performs really well. The fragrance performs really well during the night. And actually during the night, it radiates this strong fragrance that attracts the night butterflies to pollinate it. So that's why they they named the fragrance or the soir like the water of the night because the main flower, it's a night flower. So I find it nice and I wanted to share it with you. So guys, that's it for today. I hope you like my selection of uh, refined classy fragrances. And let me know in the comments below which one sparked your interest, if any of this sparked your interest at all. And I'll be happy to do a uh, a more in-depth review next time if any of these fragrances you know spark your interest as i said please stay safe thank you so much for watching if you like my content make sure to subscribe and give me thumbs up and i'll see you in my next video bye bye